Welcome to the 2016 Holiday Edition of TBN News. My name is Rafael Perez. And I'm Jashima Kurumaka. Today we'll show you how culinary makes some of those special treats that you see in our restaurant. And why the children in early childhood loves to be at Putnam during the holidays. Our Rubik's Cube Challenge ended Wednesday with an incredible final between a Putnam sophomore and a freshman. You don't want to miss this story and we get the reaction to the crackdown on headphones in school. And there's more, so keep it right here. It's TBS Student News. It's December, where students start being creative for the holidays. Reporter Kiara Otero has one story that is truly sweet. Our culinary students are making special treats for the holidays. Today in shop I'm making gingerbread cookies. So I made two gingerbread houses and decorated them as well. I made a Danish strudel <coughs> wreath. There is a process to everything. Here is the process of making cookies. The process of making gingerbread cookies is first getting all your ingredients together and mixing it in a mixing bowl. And then after you mix your ingredients in a mixing bowl, it forms a dough. Once you create your dough, you roll it out onto a flat surface with flour, and you use a cookie cutter to shape and cut your cookie. Now here's the process of making a gingerbread house. We made cookies to create the basis for the house. Um, first we have to make the cookies, then we have to make the royal icing. Once everything is assembled, all you have to do is just decorate as you like. You can find these delicious treats in the restaurant. I'm making the gingerbread cookies for the restaurant. My shop and basically everyone who enjoys it. Culinary does a great job with bringing the holiday spirit to Putnam. They do amazing things in culinary. I think I'll go see what they have down for leftovers. <laughs> of course you will. It wouldn't be the holidays without the early childhood Christmas party. Reporter Melissa Krasa takes us there. Santa paid a visit to the Putnam preschoolers on Thursday. In front of the gym, the teachers decorated part of the hallway for Santa to greet the children. Once Santa came, the kids were called one by one to get their gifts. After all the kids received their gifts, they took pictures with Santa. We love doing it. It's a lot of fun. And the kids' faces just light up when they get their presents. So it's something we really like to do. At the party, the kids created snow globes and decorated cookies. Time for sports. Here's our sports Santa, Milton Sagardia. It's been a busy week in sports. Let's get to it. Starting with basketball. The boys opened their season with a lot in a couple games. Last Saturday, they beat Narragansett 59-43 at the Mass Mutual Center. Monday, they lost their conference opener at East Long Meadow by 4, 53-49. Here are some highlights from that game. Sophomore Taylor Martin hits a big three in the second quarter. Watch Taylor on this next one. He chases down a Spartan in transition and swats away the layup. And later in the game, Beaver Jr. Richard Foster hits a nice three from deep. The Beavers open their home season Thursday night against West Springfield. Check out our Facebook page for that score. Putnam hosts Amherst next Tuesday at 7 p.m. The Lady Beavers varsity is still looking for its first win of the season. After losing their opener to Monument Mountain, they lost to Lennox Memorial and Granby. All those games were on the road. They play at Pathfinder next Wednesday. The home opener is January 4th against Commerce. Turning to wrestling, Putnam defeated Long Meadow last Saturday, 250 to 150. The varsity wrestlers traveled to Pathfinder on Friday and the Berkshire Holiday Tournament next Tuesday. On the winter indoor track scene, both the boys and girls varsities lost to Central and Hammers this past week. They return to action on January 13th. That's it for sports. Have a great holiday and be sure to go see some Beaver sports during your break. Thanks, Milton. Anyone who attempted to solve a Rubik's Cube knows it's not easy, except that it is for those students who participated in this week's TBN Rubik's Cube Challenge. The final was Wednesday, and it was a close one. Here's what the story is reporter David Aquino. TBN News' Rubik Challenge has been the talk of the school for a while now. Moving on to the finals, we have two students, freshman William McClary and sophomore Angel Rios. Here, 
they prepare to face off in the final round as students start surrounding them, very eager to see who's going to win the $100 prize. Angel and William then go to work. Fight! Angel Reels took the lead and won first place with a time of 31.18 seconds and William came in the second place with a time of 31.26 seconds. So close yet so far. When it was over, Angel and William both revealed they were just as anxious as the audience but felt they had a great experience. I felt good because as, like, as I saw the flyers go around, I was like, I gotta practice again. And then actually did better than what I expected it to be. Um, it's, it's cool, it's, it's, it's really, really close times, but still, uh, my hands were shaking, so <laughs> everyone was shouting, I like, loud noises, it's, it was like, you couldn't really think at all. It drew in a lot of attention than I expected it to be. There were like a bunch of kids. I felt very anxious. It was a great competition. Angel Reels eventually took his $100 and William being runner-up received $60. Not too bad. There you have it folks. Be sure to stay tuned and sign up for next year's competition. Reporting for TBN News, I'm Davey Aquino. Let's face it, Putnam has a lot of rules. Reporter Ariana Perez has a story of one that some students are pushing back against. There is a new policy, no headphones allowed, that the administration is cracking down on. I think it's stupid. It's a district-wide policy that has students in an uproar. One teacher says he didn't need the new policy to say no headphones allowed in class. Where the real problem comes from is students don't know when to stop, right? Like, take them off, I'm going to talk now. Uh, I, no, it's, it's off, you know, and I have to argue with kids every day, and I had to get to the point where, like, no headphones at all. But most students are dead set against this policy. Am I allowed to say dumb? Dumb. Because music stimulates the mind. I feel like it's pointless because if I'm walking to my classroom and not disturbing anybody with my headphones, why is it a big problem? I think it doesn't make any sense because we have more things we should be focused on other than headphones. One of the big questions seems to be whether students actually concentrate better when listening to music. I think it's unnecessary because I concentrate more when I listen to music rather than when I don't because I'm a talkative person and I can get my work done when I listen to music. Um, I, I, just, I, I just have a hard time believing that kids can concentrate while they have music in their ears trying to read, write, or figure things out. School administrators will not comment on the district policy. As to consequences, most are taking a wait-and-see position. Well, it just took effect a couple weeks ago. I've just now made announcements that no, there's no earphones or earplugs in my room whatsoever, so it's probably going to take some time before I start seeing results. Reporting for TBN News, this is Ariana Perez. Principal Johnson did tell us that. Like we reported, this is a district policy, not a school policy. Thanks, Ariana, for that story. And finally, the age-old tradition of Christmas caroling. Can a question reporter Alexis Williamson ask students to hum a few bars of their favorite Christmas song? Hi, seen the first few lines of your favorite Christmas carol. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer um, had a very shiny nose. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. Brown Frosty the Snowman was a very jolly song. Jingles, bells, jingles, bells, jingles all the way. That's it. Um, oh, holy night, the stars are climbing. Oh, messed up. Sorry. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells rock. Jingle bells ding and jingle bells ring. And that's it. Hi, seen the first few lines of your favorite Christmas carol. Hi. Don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell, jingle bell pop. <laughs> I don't
Okay, Raphael, let's hear you sing one from your song. All I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> your turn. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. From all of us at TBN, we wish you a happy holiday. See you next year. Well, you want me to do this? What I is that about? I, I didn't understand right. that. Good.